Don't plant a seed today and expect a tree tomorrow. Water it, nurture it and give it time to prepare for the moment to break through the ground. Here is a catch that exactly how the success works. Every time you take a small step towards your goals, then you are strengthening your foundation. You may not see the results immediately, but you can if you are focused and consistent. To all my viewers today, the topic today is test of significance for the small samples. Today, I am going to teach you about the student t-test when the mean and the standard deviations are given. So, already I have taught you six examples and today I am going to teach you how to solve this seventh example. See here, a random sample of size 16 values from the normal population showed a mean of 53 and the sum of the squares of the deviation from the means is equals 150. Can this sample be regarded? So this is the question that can this sample be regarded as taken from the population having 56 as mean? And now we have to obtain 95% confidence limits of the mean of the population. So what all are given here? The sample size n is given as a 16. And the next one is mean 53. So here the sample mean is given as 53. And here see here sum of the squares. Sum means a sigma. Squares of the deviation from the mean that is x i minus x bar whole square is given as 150. And what is asked here? So can this sample be regarded as taken from the population having 56 as a mean? So here 56 is given. Mu is given as 56. See, first of all here, sigma xi minus x bar whole square is given as 150. So we have to find out the standard deviation. So s square is equal to sigma x minus x bar whole square by n minus 1. So here this value is 150. What is n here? 16. 16 minus 1 is 15. So which is equal to 10. So s value we got the standard deviation value we got as root 10. And degrees of freedom here v is equal to n minus 1 that is 16 minus 1 which is equal to 15. And now let's get into the problem. So already we have uh, five steps here. First one is the null hypothesis h0. Here so what is it is asked the sample be regarded as taken from the population. The sample is taken from the population having 56 as mean. So mu is equal to 56 we have to take. For alternate hypothesis mu not equal to 56 and level of significance. So level of significance 95% confidence interval. So 0 0.05. So alpha is equal to 0 0.05. 5% level of significance and test statistics. And here is the formula which is very important. T is equal to x bar minus mu by s by root n. So what is x bar here? So x bar is equal to 53. Mu is equal to C here 56. And next one is just now we found out that is root 10. This is root 10 and n value is equal to the n value is equal to 16. So these are all the four values which we have to keep in the formula. So after substituting we got the result as minus 3.79. So take modulus on both sides that is 3.79. So here is a note that whenever the calculated value is greater than 3 so we have to reject the null hypothesis as in the table there are no values which are greater than 3 so here the tabulated value at 5 percent level of significance at degrees of freedom v is equal to n minus 1 so v is equal to that is 16 minus 1 so v is equal to for 15 degrees of freedom the two tailed test is 2.13 so let me show you so this is the table value that is the critical values of t distribution with v degrees of freedom. So the degrees of freedom here is 15. So we have to go with the 15. So here 0 0.05. The value here is 2.13. The value here is 2.13. So this is 2.13. As the calculated value is 3.79 and the tabular value is 2.13. So as the calculated value is more than the tabular value, so calculated value of t greater than the table value. So now we have to reject this h0. So h0 should be rejected and h1 should be accepted. And therefore the sample cannot be regarded as taken from the population. So this is the conclusion part that the sample cannot be regarded as taken from the population. So this is how exactly we have to follow all the steps. So from the question, we have to underline all the numerals that is 16, 53, 150, 56 and we have to name it as 
the sample mean x bar is equal to 53 population mean that is 56 s standard deviation is equal to root 10 that is n is equal to the sample size n is equal to 16 so among these so we have to take all the five steps that is null hypothesis alternate hypothesis level of significance stress statistics and the last one is the conclusion part so these are the five steps which you have to mention each and every time when it is asked and the next question is so again what is it it is asked obtain 95 percent confidence limits so for the confidence limits also we have a formula see here the step b 95% confidence limits. So, here is the formula that is x bar minus that is alpha 0 0.05 that is s by root n. So, minus for one time and plus for one time that is t 0 0.05 that is s by root n for the second time. So, what is x bar here? So, x bar is nothing but 53 minus at 0 0.05 level of significance for t distribution for degrees of freedom that is degrees of freedom that is n minus 1 at 15 see here the degrees of freedom is 2.13 so here 2.13 into s by root n what is s here that is root 10 by 16 so this is how exactly we have to substitute x bar is 53 and t alpha by 2 is 2.13 into s value is equal to root 10 by root 16 4 so if you make a subtraction so the value is 53.68 and if you make an addition it is 51.31 exactly you have to substitute all the values which are very clear so x bar you have to take as 53 so all the values are ready and for t 0.05 it is 2. Point, so the 2.13 that is 2.13 Z alpha by 2 value is equal to. So, this is how we have to find out 95% confidence limits. And the next one example here is a random sample. So, here a random sample of six, six steel beams. So, we have to mention this 6. Has a mean compressive strength of 58,392 PSI. That is pounds per square inch. With the standard deviation here, SD is given as 648 PSI. Uses information and the level of significance alpha is equal to 0 0.05 and now we have to test whether the true average compressive strength of the steel from which the sample came from 58,000 psi that is pounds per square inch assume normality. So what is it is asked and what is it is given. So the given part we have to underline all the numerals we have to underline 6 also we have to make sure that you underline and you have to name it 6 steel beams. So here n is given as 6. So this is exactly less than 30 and we have to go with the student t test. The sample is very small and we have to go with student t test and x bar. The sample mean is given as 58,300. 392s the standard deviation here the standard deviation is given as a 648 and degrees of freedom as usual that is n minus 1 that is 6 minus 1 which is equal to 5 so in this problem sigma is quite smaller than 30 and hence we use the t distribution when the sample size is small which is less than 30 we go with the student t test and as usual there are five steps here the first one is the null hypothesis h naught null for null hypothesis mu is equal to 58000 so for alternate hypothesis the statement mu not equal to 58000 level of significance that is five percent level of significance these are the critical regions and here see here for the test statistics for test statistics see here the problem here is t is equal to x bar minus mu by s by root n minus 1 what is x bar 58392 minus mu is equal to 58000 by standard deviation here sd so here very clear that the standard deviation is given as 648 648 by root over n minus 1 that is 6 minus 1 which is equal to 5 the value here is 1.353 so here now we have to check so this is the calculated value and now we have to go with the table value so here the degrees of freedom here is n minus 1 that is equal to 5 at 5 we have to check see here for 5 we have to check the value at uh, 0 0.01 that is 3.365 so this is 3.365 value therefore the calculated value is less than the table value we accept the null hypothesis h naught 
so what we have accepted hence the average compressive strength of the steel beam is not equal to 58000 psi that is pounds per square inch so this is how we have to take all the steps here that is null hypothesis alternate hypothesis level of significance test statistics and the conclusion part clear and now the next one is the eighth question a sample of 100 iron rods so wherever you have uh, seen this numeral please underline 100 iron bars is said to be drawn from a large number of the bars whose lengths are normally distributed with the mean four feet and the standard deviation this is a 0 0.6 feet if the sample mean see here sample mean is given as 4.2 feet next one so what is it it is asked can the sample be regarded as truly random sample the first thing here is first we have to go with the null hypothesis null hypothesis the sample can be regarded as truly random sample and next one is an alternate statement alternate hypothesis the sample cannot be regarded as a random sample and the next thing is so here n value the sample size is given as 100 x bar the sample mean is given as 4.2 mu is given as 4 and sigma the standard deviation is given as 0 0.6 very clear and the next one we have to go with the test statistics the formula here for the test statistics is nothing but t is equal to x bar minus mu by sigma by root n so what is x bar here x bar is 4.2 minus 4 by sigma here value is 0 0.6 by this value is 10 so here the value here is n n value here is root 100 which is equal to 10 after calculating we got the value as 3.33 so please remember that whenever we get uh, the calculated value as about 3 value so we can immediately reject the null hypothesis as there is no value which is greater than 3 in the table hence t is greater than 3.33 which is greater than 3 hence we reject the null hypothesis and here is the conclusion part that the given sample cannot be regarded as truly random sample from the given population so here is a note very important note that see here mod z when greater than 3 then the level of significance is not given so we may reject the h0 at 5% 1% level of significance in the above problem the null hypothesis is rejected without mentioning any level of significance so without level of significance we can reject this h0 as the value is greater than 3 and the next one is the ninth example so here this is the ninth example a sample of 155 members has a mean of 67 and standard deviation as 5.2 so is this so is this a sample has been taken from the large population mean 70 see here 70 also we have to underline so all the four values are given here and next one we have to go with the null hypothesis first thing is null hypothesis h0 the sample has been taken from the population alternate hypothesis the sample has not been taken from the population so here all the values are given n the sample size is given as 155 and the next one mean x bar is given as a 67 standard deviation is given as 5.2 and the next one mu the mean of the population is given as 70 so all the values are given and next we have to go with the test statistics t for the test statistics here is a formula that t is equal to x bar minus mu by standard deviation by root n minus 1 so what is x bar here 67 mu is equal to 70 standard deviation 6.2 standard deviation this is 5.2 so this value is 5.2 divided by that is root over n minus 1 155 minus 1 so if you make a calculation using a calc this is minus 7.16 so clearly without level of significance 1 percent 5 percent level of significance we can clearly mention that we are going to reject the nine hypothesis as the value is greater than 3 so here calculated value is greater than 3 we reject the null hypothesis at 5 percent level of significance and here is the conclusion part that the sample has not been taken from the given population clear so these are the four points which we have to remember we have to put it in the formula that is t is equal to x bar minus mu by s by root n minus 1 and we have to calculate the value if the calculated value is more than 3 just reject null hypothesis next one in the past a machine has produced whereas sorry in the past the machine has produced washers having a mean thickness so here the mean thickness is given as 0.050 inch to determine whether the machine is properly 
is proper working order a sample of 10 washers is chosen for which the mean thickness is 0.053 inch and the standard deviation is a 0.003 inch now we have to test the hypothesis that the machine is properly working order at the level of significance 0.05 and next we have to go with the five steps so here mu is given as 0.050 n is given as 10 washers are been checked x bar is equal to 0.053 and s is equal to 0.03 the four values are given and next one here is the null hypothesis so for the null hypothesis mu is equal to 0.050 for alternate hypothesis mu not equal to 0.050 test statistics so for test statistics z is equal to x bar minus mu by s by root n minus 1 so after substituting we got the value of as a 3 the degrees of freedom n minus 1 which is equal to 9 so we have to go with 9 uh, table value at 5 percent level of significance so go with the 9 so for 5 percent level of uh, significance here that is 0, 0.0 at 9 so n is equal to n is equal to 9 here so n is equal to 9 so we have to go with this that is 2.262 the value here is 2.262 that is the table value so when you check here 3 this is 2.262 and the calculated value is greater than the table value and therefore we reject the null hypothesis so after rejecting the null hypothesis what is the conclusion that the conclusion that the machine is not in the proper working order so at five percent level of significance we conclude that the machine is not in a proper working order hope you all guys understand what to do how to do what is to be taken and what is to be solved and what is to be put it in the formula so all the five steps that is null hypothesis alternate hypothesis test statistics level of significance and the conclusion are all the five uh, statements should be mentioned <clears throat> and each and every point should be clearly calculated thank you so much for watching and staying till the end if you really like this video see here till now i have solved the student t test when the mean and the standard deviation are given in my upcoming video i'm going to post the problems when the mean is given and standard deviation should be found out and we have to put it in the formula and this is of uh, and that one is of the second kind so don't miss these two videos so every video will be posted in the playlist please pass it on share your share the playlist to as many friends as you can that is the greatest help needed from my side thank you so much